what good youtube it's your girl megan i'm back with another video in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys this seven two stretch build that i found all around stretch big not only will this build be able to shoot from anywhere on the court but this big man can still protect and defend the paint like a big man is supposed to do still can finish around the rim with these big man contact dunks this is an all-around balanced stretch big all right so i'm gonna show y'all exactly how to make this build for the height we're going with 72 for the weight we're gonna take it down to 234 wingspan seven six pick whatever body shape that you want so for these attributes starting out with the finishing we're gonna take our close shot to a 80 driving layup 74 driving dunk 76 standing dunk we're gonna take it to the 80 that's gonna give us those pro big man standing contact dunks so you will be able to catch you a body or two somebody standing underneath you in the paint post control we're gonna take it to a 72 so that gives us 20 finishing badges mid-range we're gonna take it to a 84 three point we're gonna max it out at 85 free throw gotta have us a free throw on this build we're gonna take it to a 73 so we're looking at 24 shooting badges right now playmaking 76 ball handle max that out at 61 and that's it for the playmaking so we get 13 playmaking badges you know you, you need that gold break starter we got all of that got your vice grip we're gonna be good now for the defense interior we're gonna take it to a 76 Perimeter, we're going to take it up to a 59. Steel, going to go to 30. Block, we're taking it to a 93. That's giving us gold anchor. Defensive rebound, going to go to 93 as well. Max it out at 93. That's giving us gold rebound chaser. Offensive rebound, taking it to an 80. Speed, we're going to max that out. Acceleration, take it to a 50. Strength, 55. Vertical, maxes out at 77. And the rest going on our stamina. Oh, I'm sorry, hold on. I like to leave all my bills with a 90 stamina, so I messed up somewhere interior defense we're taking that to a 78 78 interior defense y'all 78 interior defense that's why i messed up it it doesn't affect the badge count or whatever but well, that's where what i ended up with so we got 20 finishing 24 shooting 13 playmaking and 25 defensive badges this is an all-around build right here it's seven two and to be able to shoot the ball so well you're going to be a problem you're going to be a problem for the takeovers we got sharp take rim take and glass cleaning tape of course i'm going with the double limitless you got to with the juice perk with this build double limitless double sharp take 
that's what plus 21 to our shooting already like look at this we're gonna have 99 plus shooting when we in takeover like give me the ball i'm greening from any and everywhere If y'all haven't got the juice perk yet, check out my video on how to get juice. It is a must have perk. It's the best perk in the game. All of my builds got juice perk. Every last one of them, I'm juiced up. Plus 21 to your attributes, depending on if you're running a double takeover plus 11 if you just got one takeover equip but whichever takeover you choose if i was to put on glass clean and take all my my rebound and is going up plus 99 like i got hall of fame rebound chaser it affects your physical stats too vertical gonna go up everything everything is gonna go up depending on which takeover you got if you got your juice perk everything all right so let me show you guys some bad setups that y'all could do this is a really good build with this stretch glass right here all right, for finishing, put on your bronze posterizer, put something on your area wizard, fearless finisher. You don't necessarily have to run limitless takeoff. I know it only goes bronze. The Duncan isn't all that high on this build, but running limitless takeoff is not going to hurt you. All right, so on your masher cord it with ease and your fast twitch if you want to go for your rise up too put your extra badges on finishing and you'll be able to get your rise up you just need two more extra badges your rise up on silver cost six badge points and you'll be able to equip it like that or or if you have already unlocked one of the double core um, patterns, just use the one for finishing and core both of those and then you'll be able to equip your rides up or however the case may be. It's just a little workaround. We got four more badges. You can put it on drop step or you can put it on back down punisher. For shooting, gold green machine and gold claymore. You can go crazy with just these two badges right here alone. These two alone. All right. So, you can get gold catch and shoot. You can get gold corner specialist. Do you need corner specialist and catch and shoot? Not necessarily. But if you want to run it, you want to run gold catch and shoot. It ain't gonna do nothing but help you. Not gonna do nothing but help you turn you to even more of a shooting demon. Okay? So if you do run catch and shoot, run your catch and shoot, core that. It's gonna give you seven bash points back. Put on your dead eye. I didn't put nothing on limitless range because we're already running the double limitless range takeovers. But we don't necessarily need the badge. Catch and shoot, dead eye. Alright? You need your blinders gold your agent three can go to silver put it on meet a magician and go to bronze all right and there's something that you could do that's the one thing that you could do that's something you could do that's something you can do or you don't want to put on agent three agent three only really activates if you just spotting up you feel like you ain't gonna need agent three fine cool agent three activates whenever you do a little dribble move or something like that or you move with the ball and then shot then shoot your shot or 
if you fade if you're taking fades all right you don't want to use agent three that ain't your play style you just want to straight up spot up stuff like that then cool you don't need your agent three strictly spotting up i would do something like this and then with these three badges, you can put it on slippery off ball volume shooter comeback kid if y'all ever if your team ever in a comeback situation y'all down in the red comeback kid is gonna come in clutch clutch shooter clutch these are the clutch badges this also activates on your free throws if you struggle shooting free throws then those are some other little badges and they work good just on bronze work good just on bronze for sure that's if you straight up spotting up you don't feel like you're gonna be taking no fades or moving with the ball and trying to shoot then don't worry about agent three and if taking post fades or pull up fades and all that not really your play style either don't worry about your mini magician or your space creator but but all right but i said but if you do want to fade get your post fades and cook up around that mid-range area and all this and that you already know Base creator, mini magician. They can go to Hall of Fame. Agent three silver. You can put bronze amp, bronze clutch shooter, bronze comeback kid. Or go all in Hall of Fame. And then on that. If this is your bread and butter, that mid range, cooking up in that <laughs> with them post fades and them pull ups, most definitely. You're going to catch a lot of bigs off guard. You're going to catch so many people off guard doing this at 7 2. At 7 2. At 7 2. Me personally, I would go with something like this though. Because I don't use catch and shoot anyways. So I would go with those on gold. And I'll put on my Agent 3. And come back kid. Me personally, that's what I'm that's what I would run. Or I switch it up and put on slippery off ball. Alright, so playmaking. I need that gold break starter for that. Vice grip, put that on. Get your bell out. Clamp breaker, Lord General. Special delivery. Defense. This build can get gold off ball pass. I love it. Love it. I love it. Put on that anchor. Pour your anchor. Put on your rebound chaser. This is the same thing I would say, like, you get, you can, if you unlock the double core patterns you can get the double defense and you can core both of your anchor and your rebound chase and you can equip some more badges now we could go ahead and put on our pogo and rock with something like that something like this like forget the workhorse the workhorse do be coming in handy a lot you don't necessarily need pogo pogo stick does get you out of those situations some of those situations though for sure for sure but if you don't want to rock pogo you can do something like this or knock them all down to silver still put on you know, some some even though we don't really have a steel but we do have juice i'm telling you i get steals on builds that have no steel just because of my wingspan. And it's all about positioning. 
bump steals that just that's just 2k 2k gives it to me way more than i should get because i, I don't have big man bills with steals on them but i get steals put them on their bronze gloves and their bronze interceptor so but that's pretty much it this is the build it is a really really good build season seven it's coming soon and y'all gotta have get y'all grind y'all some new bills out get your bills ready this is a great build i'm gonna take it into the rig take it to the park you have to do your thing whatever it is you want to do this is a really really good build I'm finna be hooping straight buckets. Seven two. You're finna be shooting over people anyways. Then with that dead eye. Double limitless. Plus juice. You're finna be shooting over people. Green bean all day. But that's it for this video, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. Make sure you leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And please, don't forget to turn on your notifications. Please, turn on your post notifications. Become Noti Gang. Come on.